Ugh, the Star Wars prequels. What a sorry bunch of films. I've hated them with a fiery passion ever since I was an angsty, impressionable 15-year-old and I watched a Nostalgia Critic video about them. How dare George Lucas fulfill his creative vision free of any company oversight and finish the story that he started over the course of 30 years. What a piece of shit. George Lucas was going to make a sequel trilogy where Boba Fett crawls out of the Sarlacc pit and R2-D2 relays the events of the original trilogy to the Shaman of the Wills 700 years after the events of the original trilogy because he was there to witness all of it. And the Wills and midichlorians are further explained to satisfy fans such as myself who initially didn't understand it in the prequel trilogy because it wasn't meant to just be explained verbatim in the prequel trilogy without further information and supplemental material in the sequel trilogy George Lucas was going to make. But all that sounds boring and lame. That sounds like a real bummer. Having to think about science in my science fiction series? Fuck that shit. I like thinking about Star Wars in purely spiritual terms. Because it's Jesus. If you think about it, Obi-Wan Kenobi is basically the Buddha, and Yoda is practically Pontius Pilate. I don't want to have to think about my wizard space battle film on a deeper philosophical level than what's immediately presented, and luckily, with the Disney trilogy, I don't have to do that. Thumbs up, JJ! I was so happy when Disney bought the rights to Star Wars from George Lucas so that they could finally make the movies that fans like me wanted instead of what he wanted, because he's a piece of shit. Now it might seem at first glance that the Disney trilogy is really poorly constructed they made it up as they went along without any actual story to tell. It might seem like Disney was just making everything up randomly on the fly because originally The Last Jedi was going to be directed by J.J. Abrams, but then they got Ryan Johnson in to direct it at the last minute. Actually, this is proof that Disney knows exactly what they're doing because Ryan Johnson is an auteur. He's one of the greatest directors of our age, having directed pure classic cinema verite, like Glass Onion, a Knives Out murder mystery, which I saw and can say is a much better movie than The Phantom Menace or Attack of the Clones or that fucking garbage. Ryan Johnson is a thousand times better filmmaker than George Lucas. What does that guy know about movies? The biggest problem with the prequels, the bane of my existence, is Jar Jar Binks. What a terrible character. I mean, all his routines are inspired by Buster Keaton and boring old comedians like that. He's not funny at all. You know who is funny? Deadpool. Deadpool gets me chuckling every time because Deadpool is self-aware and talks every 30 seconds about how he's in a movie, which is funny because he is in a movie. Now that's comedy. The other problem with the prequels is that there's no interesting characters. I mean, Peter Serafinowicz is Darth Maul, Samuel L. Jackson is Mace Windu, Christopher Lee is Count Dooku. Who gives a shit? I prefer sterile, bland, forgettable characters like Oscar Isaac as Poe Dameron the character who could have disappeared completely from the Disney trilogy without anyone noticing because he contributes absolutely nothing of substance to the entire story across three separate movies. Those are the sorts of characters that today's movies could really use a lot of. I feel like George Lucas needs to stop referencing all these fucking old boring movies like Battleship Potemkin and Alpha Villain shit and start taking more influence from the modern classics that the youth of today, such as myself, are really hip with 
and really vibe to and understand, like Glass Onion, a Knives Out murder mystery, which has way more staying power than The Phantom Menace, and will be remembered by generations to come as a masterwork of cinema. I feel like George Lucas, the senile old bastard, could also use some inspiration from Justin Roiland, creator of one of the greatest science fiction franchises of all time, Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty is a contemporary classic which deals with themes of domestic abuse, which Justin Roiland knows a lot about. You know, you can tell George Lucas isn't a director with balls because he's never engaged in domestic abuse, like the visionary of our age, Justin Roiland. Justin Roiland is an example of how to make a perfect science fiction masterpiece. What a brilliant breakout smash hit success. The other thing about the prequels is they have way too much CGI. I only like small budget, independent art house films with minimal CGI, like Avengers Endgame or Black Panther. Those are great movies. When the prequels do it, it's evil. I am so sick of smart, creative, talented people like George Lucas fulfilling their own vision by creating single unified pieces of art. I'm in favor of art by committee, where we strip away the rights of creative visionaries like this piece of shit George Lucas and just give it to everyone. Except by giving it to everyone, I don't actually mean making everything in the public domain so absolutely anyone can make absolutely anything they want free of copyright restrictions. I mean art by Disney committee, where Disney owns everything and all the decisions are made by a random board of Disney executives who are all trying to maximize their profits by appealing to the widest audience possible. I don't get the Star Wars prequels, and they're not for me, so they can't be for you, because I don't get them, and that means that George Lucas just had no idea what he was doing. Piece of shit. The Star Wars prequels are narratively broken. I mean, they only explain and set up in a perfectly reasonable and coherent manner what goes on in the original trilogy, and prequels shouldn't do that. For an example of a really great prequel, you should take a look at Star Trek Enterprise, starring Scott Spatula and T'Pol. That's a great prequel because it completely contradicts everything that happens later on in the series chronologically, which is how prequels should be. I accept Star Trek Enterprise into the official Star Trek canon, and I signed the petition to save Star Trek Enterprise when it was prematurely cancelled. But damned if I'm going to support George Lucas or anything he thinks. He looks like a fucking idiot. You know who's a much better filmmaker? Ryan Johnson, the creator of Glass Onion, a Knives Out murder mystery. That thing had me guessing a non-stop roller coaster of cinema veritas. Overall, I think the prequels are terrible because the nostalgia critic said so and everything the nostalgia critic says must be right because Doug Walker, unlike that fucking hack George Lucas, is a visionary an iconoclast of the age. Shitting on the Star Wars prequels makes me really cool and epic because I'm shitting on a big budget Hollywood franchise for not living up to my expectations. But you know what does always live up to my expectations? Every single Marvel movie. God, I love them. She-Hulk and Loki and Miss Marvel and Ironheart and Black Panther 2 keep that shit rolling into my face hole. Oh, yeah, Marvel. Oh, shit, you're Marvel. Oh, ha, ha, 